Keith, there's a million ways that I could start this interview, but the most important thing tonight was the return of the fans. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, brilliant to have them back on the ground, even though there's only 100 uh, supporters or so here tonight. So uh, they got got behind the boys at the start of the game in the, in the pre-match warm-up. Um, during the game and at the end of the game, they could uh, they were uh, they were right behind the team and obviously the boys put on a bit of the display for them tonight with the with a five 0 win. So we're pleased with that. We're delighted to have them back. It's really really good to have, even though it's a limited number, to have them back in the stadium because we've missed them. Um, Daily Mount is a brilliant brilliant place to play football, but it, it's you know it's even better. Obviously, I'm stating the obvious when when it's full and it's rammed full of supporters and um, that are really getting behind the team because. You know, I think I think we've got a team that can excite them. Uh, I think we've got a team uh, of talented players that, um, you know, they really would enjoy some of the performance that we're putting in just now um, here at, ho- at home. Yeah, um, a hat trick is probably the highlight of most players' seasons. Maybe even their careers. Four goals is a little bit more of a rarity, but Georgie Kelly, Kelly did exactly that tonight. Georgie got four goals. And I think he was good value for the for the goals. He, you know, he was hungry for for goals tonight. He, he got a he got a brilliant first goal. Um, and uh, you know, yeah, he got the, he got the second goal, which was important for us because, um, and it, it, you know, it was important that we went in at half time because they're they're a decent side. They've got some good players and they're playing well, playing full of confidence. And you know, we didn't have it all our own way in the first half. You know, they had a couple of shots on, on goal and maybe maybe Chris Lyons. Um, you know, misses, misses one that he maybe should hit the target with. So um, we didn't have, like I said, our, our own way, but we, we got ahead uh, 2 0. Uh, we, we spoke at half time about certain things and we spoke about half time about getting the next goal, and which was really important. And we got it what, within 30, 30, 40 to 40 seconds in the second half. So uh, brilliant, brilliant goal by Liam. Uh, but, but Ross Tierney, I think, was immense in, in the build up to it, you know. So, uh, but well taken by Liam. And, and obviously, then it probably it, uh, the changes that. That that, that um, the changes that uh, Drada had made at half time, bringing on uh, two players, going to a, a change of shape, shape to a three-five-two, it sort of takes the sting out of that a little bit, for, um, you know, for them, and, and and puts us again in the ascendancy. And we're looking to we're looking to get another goal or two, which we did, and thankfully we were able to get some bodies onto the pitch. We were able to get some bodies off, um, you know, and uh, yeah, we go again on Monday. Um, goals obviously win games, but so does a great defence. And one man in particular that was fantastic today was Kieran Kelly. Yeah, Kieran's come into the team and he's been really good, and he's had to be very patient. He hasn't had, he hasn't had things his own way here. Um, it, it's been tough for Kieran at times, and uh, but he, but he's he's come through it. He's been resilient. He's, uh, you know, he's learning and improving all the time. And I think you know he's getting his rewards for his performances right now at the moment. He's in the team, um, and he's been quite consistent for us since he's come into the team. And you know, it is important that we we build um, a platform of of. You know where we don't concede, and you know we've we probably dropped too many points uh, late in games this year, and we probably, you know, feel we maybe should have a few more points. And um, you know, it's it's no doubt the key to that the platform is is keeping clean sheets. And Kieran was, you know, was very good tonight. I'm delighted for him actually because it's a you know it, it's a sign, it's a good news story really when you persevere and you can you, you continue to stay at it. You know, and and you get setbacks that you you don't um, you know you don't roll over that you show show that. That that I suppose work ethic and and you know tenacity to try and stick with it and to to get your rewards when they come your way. And without beating a dead horse, obviously it's a big game on Monday, but this was definitely the perfect way to to set yourself up for it. Yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah, we play Rovers on Monday in in a derby. Um, pity, we, oh, you know, we we don't have the crowd uh, behind us and um, and the atmosphere that the, the, the derby generally g- generates here in Daly Mount. So, uh, but yeah, listen, nonetheless, it's a it's a big game. Um, the boys, hopefully, we can recover now. In the next forty eight hours are crucial uh, in terms of recovery and get ourselves ready for for Monday, which is which is obviously a big game, and hopefully that will look after itself. Congratulations on the result, Keith. We'll see you again on Monday. Okay, thank you.